people see me and they hear that I'm colored, then they say, if he's colored, then I'm colored too. <laughs> Don't laugh, guys, I'm someone's child. I also got feelings. I'm serious. And I painted a black girl once upon a time. And every time we were together, she kept saying, Andrew, there's no way you can be colored. You need to prove to me that you're colored. Andrew, there's no way you can be colored. You need to prove to me that you're colored. So I stabbed her. It was a big story. Her father came to my house. Her father came to my house. No one told me that he was blind. So when I tried to explain myself, me and him couldn't see eye to eye about the whole situation. And I offended him more because I spoke like a colored. I was like, dead check here, yeah, right? I know I did a blind thing. <laughs> Well, let me rephrase it for the gents of from FK, for the ladies of from Muff Town. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever been to FK yet? Have you guys ever been? <laughs> if anyone's ever been there, you know it's fucking hot, man. Yo, Muff Town is so hot, Lobola isn't paid in cars, it's paid in Dilton. <laughs> and if I was paying Lobola, I'd be paying chili bites. <laughs> but I want to talk about Lobola, it's really interesting. I was seeing someone, and she's closer. And you know how it is in Tosa culture, Zulu culture, even in Dibella culture, Lobola is paid by the male, by the husband side of the family, right? Now, I'm originally Sri Lankan, and a lot of Asian cultures, Indian cultures, Lobola is in reverse. It's paid by the female side of the family. It's called dowry. I'm sure some of you heard of it. Now, can you imagine if her and I got married, the conflict between our families? Probably go down and say, hey, Baba, you must pay. No, 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 you must pay. <laughs> no, my sister must pay. No, 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 you have to pay. You have to pay. Okay, 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 there's no need for him soon. How much you want? I don't like DJs. I personally hate DJs. I think DJing is one of the most useless jobs on planet Earth. This is all they do. Press play. See, they're going to be doing it. They're going to be doing it. I knew DJing was useless when Black Coffee took over the world single-handedly. I was like, you know what? Did I say something? What did I say? But here's how I knew DJing was useless, right? A four-year-old won a DJing competition. Remember that shit? AJ Jr. The guy couldn't even have an acceptance speech. He won. How do you feel? doing your nappies is not a real job. It's not. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and trash. Uh, my name is DJ TT. <laughs> but I'm a different type of DJ. I'm a, I'm a radio DJ. I'm on radio. Uh, I'm on YFM now. Yeah, just got a, a brand new gig on Y. So it's three. Thank you. And, uh, you know, it's been a good year, man, and uh, I'm also a father for the first time. Just became a father. For the first time. A stepfather. <laughs> Some of you are laughing, but you are stepfathers too, you don't even know. <laughs> you know what I hate? I hate the, the, the father myth. You know the father myth? And you're like, yeah, you know when you impregnate someone, you can feed it. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> All nuts are the same, trust me. <laughs> if you could feel it, somebody who stopped feeling a long time ago is Billy Bean. 18 children! 18 kids, Baba! 18, one eight! Listen, this guy has no idea how to pull out. He doesn't know what the hell pull out means. <laughs> pull out to one stimulus. <laughs> 18 kids, yo! If I had 18 kids, they better wear name tags around the house, that's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna remember all your damn names. 18 children, and he still has a song in his album, it's called Yelele's Condomize. How about you take 